in this Rumbelow's quarter-final tie. Hurst header, and McCall went in bravely with Peak. And the Coventry captain in the end, bringing down the former Ipswich man, and that's going to be a dangerous position for Coventry to defend the free kick. Pearson and Shirtlift, the two centre-backs, are both forward for the kick. Played in to the far post and cut back neatly as well, and the turn, and it's gone in! And Pearson, who gets so many vital goals for Sheffield Wednesday, has got another. The captain capitalising on Coventry City's hesitation on the far post. Peake couldn't reach the ball. It was a lovely turn by Pearson. That's his eighth goal of the season and his fourth in this competition. Peak to Burrows. Speedy. Borrows again and somehow squeezes it through to Mickey Jinn. And it was vital, that tackle, as McGrath comes in again. The linesman is flagging on the far side. Nothing would have counted if Coventry could have forced the ball into the net then because the linesman flagged immediately, I think, for offside against Cyril Regis. Sheffield Wednesday break dangerously with Sheridan. On to Williams. A great run by King. And the fullbacks are marked in the middle and could finish off here. And he let Sheridan take the responsibility instead. And Sheridan wasted a great opportunity to increase Sheffield Wednesday's lead. McGrath. Regis. Ooh, it was a dangerous ball and he's given it straight to McCall, who's got Hurst ahead of him. David Hurst. Another good save by Steve Grisovich. And Coventry nearly threw it away again. McCall onto the mistake. Hurst had one thought, that was to go for goal. Agrisovic denies him. And now McGrath. Smith. Swung in towards Regis, far edge of the penalty area. And it comes back to Cyril Regis. Still Regis. Did it go in? The crowd are claiming it did. Regis is claiming it did. Importantly, the referee says it didn't. And the linesman was well placed to judge. Regis did so well though, went through three tackles, no it didn't cross the line, the referee was right, Pearson cleared it before the whole of the ball had gone over the line, it's all happening here in the last few minutes, Mickey Jin, he's done well Jin, oh palmed away by Turner, Regis turning it back in again, and McCall back to clear the danger, as Worthington belts it high into the stand. Chris Turner with another excellent piece of goalkeeping to deny Coventry once more. Wilson helping it forward to Sheridan. And McCall's clear. McCall can clinch it now for Sheffield Wednesday. My word, how many missed opportunities are we going to see in this game? McCall twice, Palmer and Hurst could all have made absolutely certain of Sheffield Wednesday's place in the semi-final and they've all failed this was the easiest of the lot he'd done the hard work Emerson peak that's the final whistle the end of a superb cup tie and handshakes all round for Ron Atkinson and second division Sheffield Wednesday are through to the semi-finals of the League Cup for the first time in their history. Coventry City gave them a marvellous battle, particularly in the second half. McCall had two marvellous opportunities to clinch things, but it's the Yorkshire fans who go home singing. And their captain, Nigel Pearson, scored one, scooped another off the line when it looked as though Cyril Regis had equalised. And at the end of it all, it's Sheffield Wednesday who go through to meet Chelsea or Spurs in the two-legged semi-final.